Hello, my name is Emily Avenson. I'm the creative flower force behind Fleuropean, and I've been invited by Homo Faber today to take you guys through a demonstration of a more modern version of a mantelpiece. When I was choosing my branches, I really prioritized choosing branches that had nice textual interest like the pine cones on there. And likewise, I've also chosen some Lawson Cypress, which has beautiful flat foliage, so we're not getting the needles of the other branches, but we're getting these beautiful pine cones, which communicate colorwise beautifully with the pine cones of the other branches. And that led me to then choose some dried flowers from the garden. Uh, I've chosen these Echinops Ritro, and for a different texture, we've also got these uh, Eryngium. And to finish it all off, this morning I chose some Old Man's Beard, which is wild clematis, and it just grows on the roadside, so it's a wonderful foraging find. And then finally, I've got these awesome um, Wisteria pods. These, I think, come together to make a really interesting textural mantelpiece palette that we're gonna go ahead and create together now. When we're starting to build the base of our mantelpiece, we're going to first use two heavy branches that we can rest on top of your mantelpiece. By taking two larger branches, laying them across your mantelpiece, and tucking them into any mechanics that you might already have existing, whether that's um, an anchor, I've built a sort of a wave of a mantelpiece by taking chicken wire and just folding it into each other. Um, and I've taken quite a long piece, which allowed me to really create a wave along my mantle and in front of my mantle. So just by folding your chicken wire into itself, you'll start creating a network of openings into which we can start weaving the rest of our branches. You're gonna come in with maybe a nice mid-sized branch, would be wonderful, to come in and start weaving into your chicken wire. Once we've placed all of our middle branches where we might want them to be, and we've started covering our chicken wire structure and creating a nice shape, we can start layering on with our second texture of greenery. So once we've got our body nicely built out and it's looking pretty full, we can start coming in with more of our textual interests like the clematis vines. We can just weave them into our chicken wire structure and then weave them through the rest of our branches. And then I've taken some of my wisteria pods and I've wired them together. I've just kind of taken, taken the stems and then uh, taken my green wire and wrapped it around the stems and then add it on another so that you start building almost a vine of your wisteria buds. So once we've built a beautiful body for our mantelpiece and we've created this like morph between a garland and uh, an installation, we can take our flower frog. So I've used that to build some upward movement with my Echinops and you can choose um, stems of different heights, just to kind of create a really nice natural dried garden feeling um, on top of your mantelpiece. So now that we've successfully added all of our interesting ingredients in terms of form, texture, color, we can call our mantelpiece done and be really happy with the sensational seasonal piece that we've created for this Christmas season. And we'd love to invite you over to homofaber.com to gain more detailed insight into how we've created and really built this hybridized version of a garland mantelpiece installation. Thank you very much, and I hope that you enjoy creating something wonderfully seasonal for yourself this Christmas season.